Shout out to all the inner lights out there. It's your brother Junis, aka Sag and Blue. Hope all y'all doing your best out there and being your best, definitely. So today we're gonna talk about Aquarius born on the first, divine million that month of February. So just know for 2024, as an Aquarius, you're gonna realize for 2024 it's gonna benefit you greatly where your energy is just gonna feel a lot more fiery. You're gonna have a boldness within you, a certain productivity like no other. You know, your energy is going to be very wholesome and people are naturally going to gravitate toward this energy that you possess. But you're just going to feel very wholesome in spirit. So just want to be mindful of, but you have to be mindful to avoid explosive episodes of anger. Um, realize as you guys as an Aquarius born on the 1st of February, you guys have a lot of heart and naturally um, given by nature, although, you know, people don't always give you credit for that. But you're going to realize that you have a lot of courage and there's something that's going to take you very far. And you're going to be put in situations where you're going to have to step up to the plate and present that particular energy within you. You know, you're a natural initiator as an Aquarius. You're not a person that's always on the fallback. You know what I'm saying? You make sure that you kind of have a certain authoritative energy in you that reflects that. So there's something you're going to be, um, there's something you're going to notice and other people are going to notice about you. You know, naturally you care for other people, you're warm at heart. If you're a male out there as an Aquarius, you should notice that females naturally are drawn to your energy and you may have a lot of female friends that come to you for particular advice. And you're pretty guided and you're not jaded in your mindset and you just see the bigger picture because of your experiences and things you've been through and you're kind of person like when you see something going on, you naturally kind of take that in and gain some type of valuable lesson from it because you have that wisdom within you as somebody who's an Aquarius. And you just learn from life lessons rather easily versus other people. You know, some Aquarius out there out of all the air signs, their mind is kind of like sharp and pretty grounded where they don't really go left too much. You know, this very, it's very calm and mild in one aspect where they could calculate and just see everything for what it really is. You see what I'm saying? So it's not going to be any different for you. And then with you being born on the first, you're going to see like it's going to be even more direct, you know. For a person like you, it's best for you to always be upright. You know what I mean? Don't let the anger get the best of you. By the time certain people could annoy you. But, you know, like when you're upright and righteous, this is when you're at your best. You have tremendous willpower and this is something you should always tap into because it's just going to bring you really far. Naturally, you are you are adventurous and you need to like harness that adventure energy where you go out there and meet other people, be battery down on my camera not earlier. So I had to let it charge for a bit and I kind of ran some errands. So that's why you see the lightning is a bit different. But for Aquarius out there born on the 1st of February, you know, like I was saying before, you should definitely harness and use that adventurous nature within you, go out and about. If your person likes to work out, it's definitely going to compliment you and you're going to realize one of your strongest features is going to be like your chest and your back for the females and males out there and you harness a lot of your strength. You may even realize like even with you guys, particularly you may have like longer arms than usual, you know, being born with that one dynamic, but just trying to be mindful of. And when you work out, you kind of come to life and you, that authoritative energy within you is even more impactful when other people see you, they'll naturally gravitate towards you and kind of see that leader-like quality within you, you know, when you keep yourself healthy. And at the end of the day, health is wealth, right? So it's definitely something to just be mindful of. Um, also, with this particular vibration, you being born on February 1st, you know, you do have that gift of gab where you can communicate with other people and grab people's attention rather easily and it's not going to be hard for you to connect with others so always just be mindful of that um maybe when you were like a little bit younger in life you kind of had this sense of awareness where you wanted to be independent and you know you found it really hard for you to be so but you realize as you transition you know you harness that willpower and you had a certain courage about you you easily shook that off and it's no longer an issue but you're gonna realize also with you being born on the first, do your best to not be prideful. You know what I mean? I can't even remember if I said that earlier in the recording, I gotta check that out, but I'm just saying it again. Don't let the pride get the best of you. You know, like I was saying before, you're warm hearted. When people are around you, they just feel that warmth and they just naturally gravitate towards you. Um, 
Is there anything else I would like to say? No, I'll keep it there for now. You know, if you want more information about your vibration, you being born on the 1st of February, definitely hit me up at Sag and Blue, S-A-G-I-N-B-L-U-E. But with that being said, no natural compatibility as an air sign. You're naturally going to be compatible with other air signs like Libras and Geminis. And also, you're going to realize you do have a very strong connection with Libras. So that's one of the signs that's going to gravitate towards you. It's probably going to be one of the ones you really admire being around. But also with fire signs as well, which are Sagittarius, Leos, and Aries. And you're going to realize that Leos have a very strong vibe with you and vice versa. You know, you're going to admire them and they're going to admire you. And you're going to kind of understand their nature. And you got to keep in mind as well, as an Aquarius, your polar opposite is Leo. So sometimes it's not uncommon for a Leo and of course to meet in a council, but usually there's some kind of strong friction somewhere down the line where things could kind of go left, even though they do have genuine love for each other. But with you being born on the first and that number one energy associated with the Leo principle, for you, you admire them and that energy may not be so where it goes left and you're able to diffuse the situation very easily and have a healthy relationship. So there's something to be mindful of. Also, keep in mind, because you're born on the first, you're going to get along certain vibrations within the physical plane, which are fours and sevens and ones like yourself, because this is how it just synchronizes, you know what I'm saying? So if you meet somebody born like on the 4th of the month, the 13th of the month, it's not uncommon, or like the 31st, those like four vibrations, what I mean, or like the 16th, the 7th, or the 25th, those are your seven vibrations, or like the 10th, the 19th, you know, and other numbers as well. So just, just those are your ones, your fours and sevens, and it's not going to be uncommon for them to come into your life in some shape or form, you know, to bring that harmony that you're looking for, because that's just how the universe constructs it within your lifetime, so you don't have much chaos. So just something to be mindful of. But you may realize, you know, certain numbers may cause friction in your life to kind of test you, you know what I'm saying, build more strength and character. Like you might meet somebody born on the 17th, of the month and this 17 person could be like your hidden enemy i would say you know so be careful for that you know but at the same time too people born a 17 are very chill you know in their demeanor you know they pretty much could be very friendly people laid back but at the same time they're goal driven and something about that seven energy 17 energy combined with yours you know you may realize this particular individual might not be too fond of you or vice versa whatever that may be all depending on the vibe. But also as well, even somebody that's born on the 15th of the month, you may realize there might be a strong clash there too. And when you get with this particular person, although you might find them charming or attractive or whatever that is, but sometimes the situation, the relationship, relationship could go left out of nowhere. But you're gaining a strong spiritual awareness with this particular vibration, and that's the upside to it. So it's just something to be mindful of. But you're going to realize that you're going to have a very strong connection with those on a spiritual level where if this person is like the opposite sex in a relationship with them or this could be a grandparent or, you know what I'm saying, the best friend, somebody. If you were to meet somebody that's born on the 10th of the month, this would be a powerful connection with you. Or somebody born the 18th of the month, this would be a very strong connection with you. Or even somebody born the 21st of the month. So just be mindful of those three particular numbers and individuals born with this birthday. You'll realize that for some reason the energy is just more profound and there's going to be a valuable lesson to be learned. All right, guys, brothers and sisters, all my inner lights out there, I'm going to keep it there for now. If you definitely would like to learn more, hit me up at Sag and Blue. That's S-A-G-I-N-B-L-U-E on TikTok or Instagram. So next time, brothers and sisters, remember, guys, always, let your inner light shine. Junus.